geometrical construction plays a very important role in engineering drawing. Now in this video, we learn different geometrical constructions such as to divide the angle in two equal parts, divide the given line in five equal parts, to draw the squares by using the set square as well as a minute after, draw the pentagon and hexagon, and last one is to divide the circle in twelve equal parts. Draw two lines of a random length, making an inconvenient angle. Now, by using the compass, take the center point of the intersection of two lines, draw an mar on two lines. And with the reference of these two points, get the intersection of by using these two arcs, or simply join these two points. So the angle is divided into equal parts. Draw the <coughs> line AB of a random line by using the given set square. Double the end points A and B. Now throw point A, draw again another line which is inclined to AB, making an angle of approximately 30 degree. The angle should be less than of 90 degree here. Now take a comfortable distance in compass, random distance. We have to divide the line in five equal parts. So draw this inclined, divide this inclined line in five equal parts. This is the fourth part, and last is the fifth part. Now consider these five points on this inclined line. Now set the set square in such a way that point B should be joined with the point 5 which we have drawn on in line line. The adjustment of a set square is very important because by using the set square we have to divide the line in 5 equal parts. Thus adjusting is to set square in this way. Join point 5 to B. Now set this side, the left side set square in this way that in such a way that we can easily draw the parallel lines passing through the points which we have got on inclined line by using the compass. Thus, all these parallel lines should be extended only up to the line will be. First we will get these points 1, 2, 3, 4 and last point we will be the 5. Thus it is divided in 5 equal parts. Now next we will repeat the same geometrical construction that is to divide the line in 5 equal parts but here we are taking the help of a mini doctor follow the same procedure which already we have worked out to draw the to divide the line in 5 equal parts by using the set scale divide this inclined line in 5 equal parts so here we are getting the 5 equal parts
అవు అలా ఎంత సెట్స్ సారీ మినిట్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఇన్ దీస్ వే అట్ ఇస్ లాస్ట్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ డివిజన్ ఫైవ్ షుడ్ బి జాయిన్ విత్ పాయింట్ బి ఫిక్స్ ద మినిట్ ఆఫ్టర్ నౌ జాయిన్ దిస్ పాయింట్ నౌ టు ది డ్రా ది అనదర్ పెర్ల లైన్ విచ్ ఆర్ పాసింగ్ టు దిస్ డివిజన్స్ ఈక్వల్ డివిజన్స్ విచ్ యూ హ్యావ్ గాట్ ఆన్ ఇన్ ప్లాంట్ ఎస్ యూ యూస్ అబ్జర్వ్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ద వర్క్ విచ్ వీ హ్యావ్ డన్ బైజ్ ఇన్ ద సెట్ స్క్వేర్ అండ్ మీట్ ఆఫ్టర్ మీట్ ఆఫ్టర్ హెల్ప్స్ అస్ టు ఎన్హాన్స్ ద డ్రాఫ్టింగ్ ఎక్యురసీ మీట్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఇది వెరీ పవర్ఫుల్ టూ Now to draw the square by using the mini doctor, adjust the L-shape scale, set or draw line of 5 cm along the horizontal as well as the vertical scale. Label these points as A, B and last one is D. So through again, B, draw horizontal line. of a 5 cm now consider the point d through this draw the vertical line and mark the point c thus the square of a having length of a 5 cm is completed now view the dimension so these are the extension line now the, this line is a which we are drawing is a dimension line show the arrow at the end of dimension line and put the dimension about the dimension line that is the 50 millimeter square draw a rectangle having dimension of 50 by 60 millimeter by using the set square By using the set square, we can use the linear scale as well as a protector by using which we can set the angle at 90 degree. So initially draw this horizontal line of 5 cm or 15 mm line. Label this as a point A and B. So line A, line AD is drawn there. Now with the reference of this point A and point D on this line, set an angle of 90 degree by using the protector. Now draw the line of a 60 millimeter passing through point A which is inclined to AD at the 90 degree. Another line passing through the point D inclined at 90 degree to the line AD. Because we will get the point B and C. Simply join these two points by using the set square. to the dimension the vertical line which we are drawing is called as extension line now parallel to the ad approximately at a 10 mm distance we have to draw this line called as a dimension line on this dimension line draw these two arrows and above and at the central position do the dimension of a 50 mm Now give the dimension of a line AB which have the length of a 60 mm. So parallel to the AB draw another vertical line called as a dimension line having arrows at its two end. Now label or put the dimension of a 60 mm in this way. Now we will draw a pentagon pentagon have a five sides with the included angle of 180 degree so draw the pentagon a b c d 
the timing side of 50 mm so initially the horizontal line AB having length of 50 mm show the dimension of line AB by using the dimension line using the dimension of 50 mm then by using the protractor which is provided in set square set an angle of 108 degree from the left side so measure the angle from left side of a protractor and thus 108 degree angle is marked now we can take the point A for line AB, now set an angle of 108 degree from right direction. Thus, the two angles are set with the reference of point A and point B on line AB. Now, draw this line of 50 degree, which is inclined inclined with the AB at 180 degree. So, this is the angle of 180 degree. Again, with the reference of point B, draw this line having an angle of 180 degree. The length of line is 50 mm. Now take compass and Set the distance of a 50 mm in compass. Now take this as a center point and draw arc in upward direction. Take another reference point as a center point and draw this again another arc. The intersection of these two arc gives us a fifth point which will help us to complete the pentagon. So simply join these points by using the straight line and the pentagon is completed. We'll label is as A, B, C, D and E. Now we will learn how to draw the hexagon having a side of a 50 mm so take the distance of a 50 mm in compass and draw this arc by taking a comfortable center point now draw the horizontal line passing through this center point so that it will cut the circle at the two points now these are the reference points which will show how to proceed how to draw the hexagon now keeping the same distance in compass that is a 50 mm with the center point A cut this circle by means of arc at two points again cut this circle by means of arc at two points Label these points as a B, C, D, E, and M. And complete the hexagon simply by joining these points by using the set square. join all these points B to D D to E E to F F to E thus the hexagon having a uh, six equal sides of a length 50 millimeter is uh, completed give the dimensions indicating the length of a hexagon by using the dimension line 
putting the dimension of 50 mm above dimension line thus exam one is completed this is a dimensioning of a circle Now we will see how to divide the circle in two equal parts. Draw the circle of a given radius by using the compass. Then by using the mini raptor or set square, draw the horizontal line which is passing through center point and cutting the circle at two points label the first point as a one now we have to locate the 12 points on the circle so that we can divide it in 12 equal parts now keeping the same distance in compass mark these two points above and below on a circle which already we have done while constructing the hexagon now again draw the vertical line which is passing through the point center point which will cut the circle at top and bottom position now pick up these two points to get in next points which will cut the circle at uh, required positions thus here we have mark the 12 points on the circle which are equal space on the circumference of a circle label these points as a 1 2 up to the well now simply join these points which already we have got on the circumference of the circle join the point 5 to 11 passing through center point then 6 to 10 Let's join all these points all these points should must pass through the center of the circle be careful that uh, these lines should be the very faint and the circle should be the dark give the dimension of circle draw this dimension line and draw this horizontal line and label the required dimension 